Namaskara. I'm Dr. Sunita Rana Agarwal from Bangalore, Dr. Agarwal Hospitals, 15 Eagle Street, Bangalore 25. I specialize as an eye surgeon. However, today I've gone into genetics and genetic surgery as well. Pink eye or red eye, there are three main causes for this. One, we call it as infection. Two, we call it as glaucoma. And three, we call it as infection and inflammation of the deeper parts of the eye, which is iritis, uveitis. Out of all of them, the most common is infection, which we call it as conjunctivitis. This conjunctivitis usually comes in the summer months and is usually due to first cause being dryness of the eye. When our eyes are dry, the enzymes and all that that is needed to protect the eye becomes less. Therefore, the eye comes up with allergies or infections. Now, the most common cause of infections is the adenovirus. When there is just an adenovirus infection, there will only be watering from the eye. It will be red, it will be inflamed, but there will be no sticky discharge. The eye will not stick like in the morning. However, most of the adenovirus infections get complicated with a bacteria or a fungus. When it gets complicated with a bacterial infection, then the eye becomes sticky, there's a discharge, the discharge might be white or greenish yellow in color. These will be treated with antibiotics. For iritis, and for glaucoma, the treatment itself is very different. Here, we will treat them with steroids. In glaucoma, we will treat them with reducing the intraocular pressure. For all three, you need to visit an eye care practitioner. At Dr. Agarwal Hospitals, we will first take a culture swab so that we can find out what is the infection. Is it bacterial? Is it viral? Is it fungal? Thereby, we'll be able to give you the correct antibiotic, antifungal or antiviral agent. Along with that, we will wash the eye and then we will give an injection where we take one drop of your blood, make your own fetal DNA, fetal stem cells, give it as injection to your eye because this is coming from your blood. Your blood has the correct answers for any infection. He has already made you the antibodies. We still require the antiviral, antifungal or antibiotic, which we can only find out after we do the culture test.